What's going on YouTube? Back again with another video here on the channel and today I'm on this side of the camera because, well, I just wanted to get a little FaceTime with you guys. It's been a while and uh, got a fun little video in store for you today, but the video topic for today is going to be entering that lockdown service menu on LG displays, something that they implemented back in like 2023 on the WebOS 23 models. You started seeing that. And on a video I did a while back talking about WebOS 24 being on my C2, I saw a number of comments pop up on there asking me how in the world I got back into the old service menu because once you updated past WebOS 22, you got that lockdown service menu and you were you were stuck. No more going in there and, and messing around with anything. So in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step as best I can how to unlock that service menu and get back in there and make the changes you wanna make. All right, first, let's talk about what you need to be able to do this. You're gonna need a Windows-based device. Now, I have not been able to find out if you can do this with an Apple device yet. I'm gonna to continue to look into that and I'll pin some kind of comment on this video or I'll make a quick follow-up video. But you're gonna need a Windows-based device, like a laptop or a desktop, and I recommend that you get one of these, which is an LG service remote. You can pick them up off Amazon for like 10 bucks or so. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I don't have any affiliated links or anything. But uh, I recommend you get this remote because it'll just save you time going in the service menu if you want to do so very often. The next thing you're going to need is an app called Color Control. And I'm sitting here on the wonderful website called www.google.com. If you've never heard of it, you ought to give it a try. It's pretty awesome. But uh, I'm going to show you how to find this app. So we're going to go in here to the search bar, and I'm going to type in Color Control App Download, okay? And you're going to see a whole bunch of options here, even some Reddit posts talking about it. You're going to want to click this one under GitHub here called Releases, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to take you to this page right here, which can be kind of confusing. I can tell you the first time that I discovered this and was kind of scrolling through here reading. I was very confused. It was kind of overwhelming, to be honest. But as you can see here, it takes you straight to the newest release, which is available, which came back on uh, came out back on September 28th, apparently. But look at this. It gives you a nice itemization here of like what's in this release, what all that it's changing. And as you can see here, there's more things to do here with this app than just messing around with your LG display. You see stuff about NVIDIA, you see here's your LG stuff, color profiles, talks about the new UI that's in there. All right, so in order to get this program on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to go down here to the assets section and you're gonna see this file right here, there's a link called colorcontrol.zip. You're gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna give you a preview window up here of an installation folder basically. Let's go ahead and click that. Now, mine's probably gonna look a little bit different than yours just because I've already done this process already. You're gonna see a folder right here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to extract all because it's a zip folder, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna give you a destination. You're gonna go ahead and extract. And now you have that same thing, but in an extracted folder. So now let's go in here, let's double click on it, and you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff in here, okay? Very overwhelming, very confusing. The only one that you need to pay attention to is this one right here with the little colorful flower wheel looking thing. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is double click on this executable file. It's gonna go through the remainder of the installation. In my case, if I double click this, it's just gonna open it for me. But for you, finish the installation. Once everything's through installation, let's see what the finished product looks like. All right, once you've got everything installed and you're ready to open the program for the first time, if you've installed everything correctly, this is the screen you should be met with, this kind of MS-DOS looking, kind of dated looking program. Like I mentioned before, you can do multiple different things with this. It opens it straight to the NVIDIA controller section. You have an LG controller, Samsung, Game Launcher, all this stuff. I'll talk about those more uh, in a little bit, but the one you're here for is the LG controller. Now, when you go over here, look at this. You can actually click your remote control. Look at that. Look at that magic wand remote in all its glory, right? These have buttons right here, as you can see, that you can actually click, okay, in place of your remote. But anyhow, let's get rid of that. Now, the big question in here is, how in the world do I unlock the service menu based on what I'm looking at here? So now you're gonna need to get a bit of information off your display. 
And what you're going to need is your IP address and your MAC address. And make sure that your display and your device that you're installing this on are connected to the exact same network. I'm talking down to the band of the network that you're on. Make sure they are on the same network because this will not work if it's not. But you're going to retrieve your IP address and your MAC address off your display if you don't know how to do that. If you have WebOS 25 like on my displays, you go to support IP control settings and you'll be able to find all this stuff itemized there on the screen. What you're going to do with that information is you're going to go over here to the add button. It's giving you three areas to populate information. Now you can name your TV whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already done this part of it. Step one, put whatever and however you want to name your display in this program. Step two, plug in your IP address. Step three, plug in that MAC address. When you click OK, we're not quite done yet. There's another step you need to do on the display and under those IP control settings there is a network IP control section. Go ahead and click on that and toggle it on. That way everything should be connected. The display should be able to read and execute things from the program and vice versa. They can communicate well together. Once you've done that, you've selected OK, you've done that part, there's one more step to go here and that's going to be going over here to this expert tab. When you click this, yours is going to look different than mine because I've already unlocked the service menu, but there should be a section right up here at the top. It might actually be its own subsection. It's been a while since I've seen it, but it literally should say enable full service menu. The moment you select yes or okay or, you know, check mark, whatever it is from their little drop down, your service menu should be fully unlocked and you are good to go. While we're here, we can talk a little bit more about things you can do on here. I mean, when I go back in here to expert, I mean, look, forget just going in and unlocking the service menu. You can do so much stuff from here. I mean, look at this miscellaneous section. You can reboot. You can turn the screen off if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to. Uh, you've got, you can change your HDMI icons. Let's go to the picture section. Look at all the stuff that's in the picture section. I mean, logo luminance. Hello. Screen shift, there's white balance stuff, here's Motion Pro. I mean, there's some cool stuff here. And this is a great area to go into if you have um, subsections of the menus that are grayed out. You know, like if you're watching SDR content and there's certain brightness settings that are locked to you, not anymore. You can go in here and actually make adjustments. Now, you may not notice the figures in the menus change, like it's not maybe going to go from 50 to 80. You change in it, but you'll notice the brightness change or you'll notice whatever change you made uh, being different. But like, for instance, peak brightness, if it's locked to off and you change it, it may or may not change it to high. Let's say you change it to high. It may not say high in the sub menu. I did say that I would touch a little bit on the other tabs here. I mean, Samsung, boo, right? Like, you know, who wants to talk about Samsung as an LG person? You have this game launcher section. I mean, it's blank. I don't do anything with it. Here's options where, you know, basically you can go in here and set things like checking for updates automatically. So when a new version comes out, you load in the color control app, it should prompt you kind of like mine did earlier today. Uh, but this info section is pretty cool to me because everything I've kind of talked about at the front of the video, now that you've got the program, it actually will take you right to the website. I mean, look, there's the link. It's basically taking you exactly to the place that I showed you at the front of the video. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Color control, pretty cool app, especially it being free. Pretty awesome stuff. Let's go back to that LG controller page. But as you could see here, look at all these little individual toggles you can mess with. Now, I haven't really messed with these. 100% of my reason for installing color control app a long time ago now was to get in there and unlock that service menu, which once I did that, I didn't really see much of an issue, you know, much of a reason to come back in here and play with all these settings, but it's just cool uh, to see. Like, for example, the display that I'm looking at here is my 42C3, which is my desktop display. Look at this power off when locking the PC, power on when unlocking. I probably should dabble with that because this thing acts like a TV plug into um, with my desktop plugged into it. In other words, I have to manually turn the display on and off. Maybe not. Maybe I go in here and toggle these, it can actually act like a desktop monitor. Pretty cool stuff.
Guys, that's going to wrap up the video. If you found this video helpful and you want to help support my channel, I have a very small channel here. Uh, I do this on the side. I, I, I make these videos for fun just to interact with you guys and hopefully bring you some entertainment along with some information that could be useful to you. If you want to help support the channel, you can click the super thanks button or there's the free options like clicking the like button, clicking subscribe and turning on the bell. But with all that being said, until the next one.